Well guys, pardon my appearance, but this is what I look like when I get up, so. Um, I was just thinking, I'm taking my morning pills. And most people have their, most CF people have their pills in those pill boxes, but I never do. I am the person that sits here with all the bottles and everything. Every day. Every single day, every morning, every afternoon, and every night. And takes all my pills out individually, so. It takes me a little while, but I've been doing that since I am, I don't know, my whole life since I'm a kid. And so, um, I like to take them out. Once in a while, I think my mother used to have the um, pill boxes and she used to do it like that, but then we just stopped. We just used to kept, keep a list. My mother used to keep a list so she didn't mess anything up and she used to take out what I needed every morning. And then uh, when I took over doing that job, I would look at the list, but then I got rid of the list, I would probably say, when I was probably like 13, 14 years old and everything is memorized. And so I just take out what I need. So that's really it. So I'm just taking out what I need from the bottles. So yeah, that's what we're doing. We're having some breakfast. Had some cereal. We're gonna have a nice Chobani. Oh, there's a Chobani yogurt. Zaria's having some nice eggs over there. Yep. Which he had a little problem with this sticking pan over here, our green pan. It doesn't stick, out. but. I don't know what happened here. It all got stuck, so um, he's just heating up. He put some water in there and he's making it like boil, like bubble, so that he could get what's stuck off of there. And yeah. So I don't know. In the past it didn't stick, but he also used some spray and it stuck, so I don't know if we're loving our green pan too much. But yeah, that's really the it. Stainless steel pan. What is better? The stainless steel pan. Oh, the stainless steel pan. I think it's better with like spray or something. All right, so. We'll have to use stainless steel pans. Lunch, I'm getting very nervous because I already got the damn knife again. And that's one that well, sliced this is the slicer. Last time. No, no, the one that sliced me was the. the oh, uh, it was the bigger yeah. knife. Never mind. So, you think half is good for us? I think half is good for now. If we want, we can add more. Right. But every time I make extra salad, Put that there for a then it sits there and like wilts in the bowl. Look at this professional salad guy. Whoa. He mixed it in that mixing salad. bowl. Check him out. It looks delicious with some light ranch dressing. I would have had regular, but we didn't buy regular, so I'm gonna have the light for now. It's better than a just big bowl. Yeah, check it out. Yeah. Yeah, I can pick that bowl. Yep. Nice. I'm looking forward to it. Looks delicious. Well, guys, could you believe that the weekend is over already? Well, I can't believe it. It is already Monday morning. So I am just testing. Well, Monday morning. It's 2 a.m. Monday morning, the time for me. So I'm already testing my sugar. I'm gonna take all my pills and have one of these Australian style yogurts again, because it has 11 grams of fat, which is great for me to take my bedtime dose of some deco, so you guys can see there. There you have it, so, right? Hopefully my sugar comes in good. It isn't too high. We finished eating dinner a little late tonight, 11.30. Um, and my appetite's been getting better over the last few days, so that is really, really good. Um, yeah, let's see what the number is. 145. So that is really, really good after everything that I ate. I guess my insulin is on point there. 145. Pretty cool. All right. It's time to eat my yogurt, take my pills, and go to bed. I am actually exhausted, and I'm usually not exhausted this time. Um, I finished my last day of oral antibiotic yesterday. So that is good because I was getting really jumpy from that every night, and feeling wide awake until like 5, 6 a.m., which was not good, and forcing myself to go to sleep. So now that that has worn off, I am feeling like a normal person and getting tired, and I actually started feeling tired, like over an hour ago so that is good but all right guys i will see you guys tomorrow thank you so much for watching good night well we're in the food store shopping we just got a surprise what's the surprise one of our old old time viewers uh, from a long time oh yeah came back yeah in the comment section
Welcome back. You know who you are. Yes, <laughs> you know who you are. It's so nice to hear from you. And uh, we miss you. We haven't seen you comment in a while, so we're so happy to hear from you. Hope you're doing well. And um, yeah, so we're just food shopping. And we went to try out some mattresses at Mattress Firm because we need a new mattress. The mattress that we had gotten, we weren't too crazy about. I've been having a hard time sleeping and falling asleep and just haven't been really comfortable on it. So, uh, yeah, but we'll tell you more about that later. Yeah. So we tried out some mattresses. We still haven't decided which one we want to get yet. But, yeah, so. We're gonna try and make it home to watch The Bachelor. Yeah, we're trying to just get a few things and make it home to watch The Bachelor at what time? 8 o'clock, 7.40, so. Oh, 20 minutes. gotta hustle. You date again? You gotta hustle. Hustle. That's the word around here, hustle. So, all right. Let's get some stuff. We are back home. I'm just folding some laundry and stuff. Rosario is washing some dishes. He's gonna get some stuff ready for us to have uh, some dinner in a little bit. But I, uh, I was exhausted in the store. I didn't think I'd be that tired, and I was sucking wind trying to get around the um, around the grocery store. I was exhausted, out of breath, and having trouble breathing, and a lot of um, chest tightness. So. Yeah, well, but I'm a little better now um, that I uh, am sitting down and relaxing. And uh, I'm going to do an albuterol nebulizer soon. Hopefully it'll help, help open up my airways. And uh, I actually did an inhale right before we went to the mattress to us. That was only like two and a half hours ago. But um, I guess it wasn't enough. It just didn't really help. It didn't do much. So... Uh, yeah, hopefully this inhaler, inhaler, can't even speak, this nebulizer will help, and um, yeah, and I'll do my chest VT, and we'll see how that goes, so. We're back to bedtime again, and I am just like hacking over here, I have a lot of uh, chest tightness, and I have a hard time breathing, so I'm gonna do an inhaler before I go to sleep, see if this helps. Earlier really didn't do too much for me, so I don't know if it's going to do anything now, but um, we will see. A couple of pills left to finish over here, so. Yeah, it's really it. More pills left, and it's bedtime. Alright, let's see. <clears throat> I don't know if this was working right before, because sometimes it gets like, I don't know, it's not pushed in right, so. Alright, yeah, it is. Well, let's see if this helps. Hopefully, um, I'll be able to breathe a little bit better after. And nebulizer helps for a little bit, but not too much. So, um, yeah, that pretty much does the same thing as the nebulizer. So, we'll see. I got some pills over here to finish. I have to take some insulin. Because my sugar has been coming in high at night and in the morning. So, um, I mean, I know I ate pasta before, but I had whole grain. And I didn't have a lot. Um, so, yeah, the whole grain usually doesn't spike me. But for some reason, I'm coming in high. So, yeah. So I'm just going to input this into my pump. And here you have it. You just click a few buttons and there you go. It dials up. And, yeah. So, that's really it, guys. Um, I guess we will see you guys tomorrow. Rosario is uh, sleeping already because he has worked early, of course. I'm just finishing up all my medical crap, and then I'm going to hit the bed and get some sleep. So, good night. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, I just got home, and uh, I gotta show you something funny. I started laughing. So, Jill's nebulizer bowl, where she, like, rinses her nebulizers in between uses and stuff. Yeah, check this, this out. The nebulizers. And I see the bowl is, like, so high up. It's a small bowl, but why is it so high up? But look at this. It's on top of a blue cup. <laughs> she put it on top of a blue cup because we didn't get to the dishes yet. And yeah, see that? We got a couple of things piled up. <laughs>
<laughs> Innovation at its finest. <laughs> it's um <clears throat> Tuesday night. Rosario's at work. I finished showering a little while ago, and I'm just finishing doing some dishes, and um, I'm really short of breath. So it's time to do a nebulizer. Um, yeah, as I told you guys yesterday when we were shopping, grocery shopping, I was feeling uh, really short of breath. And uh, yeah, today I'm feeling really short of breath and very tight breathing. So I'm going to be starting another uh, nebulizer right now. For those of you who have seen nebulizer before, they come like this. The medication is pre-measured and then they go right into the top here of your nebulizer cup. I don't know if you guys can see so. This piece twists off the top like that and then it just goes right in there. That's really it. Top goes on. Mouthpiece gets hooked here. And that's it. So I'm gonna go do that. Hook that up and hopefully that'll help me breathe a little bit better. I don't know why I'm struggling so much uh, this past uh, weekend into this week, so. Alright. Well, it all ends with this. But before yeah. this, oh we had all of this. Yeah. And look who's having an ice cream cone with me. I am. It's me, guys. <laughs> I haven't eaten. I had a much smaller meal than I usually have, but. Me too. I had two chicken strips and a small pie. That's good for you, but. Yeah. Not good for me. I have to eat more. Empty bag. Delicious ice cream. I don't know if I can even do this right now. I think I can. Jill went to the doctor today. You guys didn't get to see that, but um, her dad took her, which was very cool. It's definitely been a big help, because um, when I'm at work, of course. Uh, but she went to the doctor, and she did pretty good. It was good. Yeah. Well, it went well, so that was uh, improvement, so yeah. Our liver's doing good. That's a big, big plus, especially in CF, because um, all the pills that you know people with cystic fibrosis are on, Definitely hurts the liver, so thank God that's good. And um, yeah. What plus? Like an ice cream cone for being a good girl. And I'm just dialing up my. It's good morning. It's Friday already. I can't believe it. I'm just doing my best. Therapy. And Rosario headed back to work. Um, and I'm actually eating a yogurt. My favorite Noosa yogurt. Um, yeah, I know you're not supposed to eat while you do your therapy. Most people don't, but I, um, I usually never do either. I just started getting really hungry in the middle of my therapy, so I'm just having yogurt and um, yeah, and I'm eating it a little bit at a time so that I don't like chug it down and then get nauseous and as I'm coughing and I wind up throwing it up so that's about it. Hey guys, so we're at the diner here and um, Jill's having a burger. I'm proud of her. She didn't eat the whole thing, but... Nowhere near the whole thing. So, well, you know. I'm trying. The bun is you actually you really large. The fries. The burger was pretty big. But the appetite, as you guys know, isn't as good as it's supposed to be. Well, it's supposed to be as it usually is. So, yeah. A little bit here. I don't know about usually, oh. or... Yeah. Thank you. I'll be back, guys. Thank you. Thanks. And as it built. used to be years ago, <laughs> the last year has just been really yeah. tough, and then I'd say like the last few months have been really, really tough. So. Sure. But we're trying, right? Like, right? I eat till I'm about to throw up, and then I stop. So, yeah. so happy. Got the little mini blue bunny ice cream cones. <laughs> <laughs> he came back like. With this big smile. Big, big grin on my face, right? Yep. Good morning.